Hi, I'm Marriage Coach Lynn. Welcome to Day 7, Recreational Activity. This is so important that I'm including it on Day 7, 14, and 21. Recreational companionship is really, a, you get a great return on investment of your time when you do things that are physical and just highly active. So what I'd like you to do on, on this day, seven, you might want to set aside a, a non-working day for this. The other exercises in the book can take anywhere from five to 15 or 20 minutes. This one I'm asking you to take between 30 minutes and four hours together, the, just the two of you, to engage in recreational activity. That could be walking, jogging, hiking. It could be paddle boarding, skiing, taking a lesson in snowboarding or skiing. Depending on your area and what the two of you like to do, there's so many things you could do. Boating. Now for those of you who are having physical issues and cannot be very active at this time, I have no problems with you taking a stroll in a museum, maybe doing a craft together, maybe making a meal together, even being a spectator at a sporting event. However, for most of you who are able to do physical activity, I'd love for this to be a participation. I would like you to make sure that it's a, it's a mutual interest. Now, sometimes in marriage we have to compromise. Now, it's okay for you to maybe compromise with your partner, but I don't want a bad attitude and begrudging. Something you really don't want to do and you're going to give in to your partner won't really make for fun. So hopefully there might be one partner who likes an activity a lot more than the other and the other willing to give it a try. That works. You can sort of flip that around on day 14 when you go to pick another activity to do. Maybe the other partner would be the main uh, decision maker in the event. Let's see what else I would like to add to this. Okay, so we're really looking for fun and pleasurable activity. We do not want a chore. You could do gardening. You could do um, something outside, but I want it to be fun. Okay, so not just making the day a chore, and it is a big chunk of time. Maybe you can do something new. Maybe you can be a tourist in your own town. Perhaps you can really consider where you live, and within an hour, maybe there is a park you've never been to that you can go take a walk. How about trying frisbee golf or disc golf? You could go mini golfing. You could go hit golf balls on a driving range. You could do any number of things. It's, it's just your imagination. Try to find something physical, rock climbing, uh, maybe taking a fitness cl class together or just working out in your own home gym. For those of you with many young children, you don't have to hire a babysitter and disappear for four hours. You could do something in or around the home. You could play croquet in the backyard or bocce ball, just the two of you. Resist the temptation to involve family members. I'd really like the two of you to build on your own playfulness, your own recreation, and your teamwork. And again, I believe the return on investment is, is tremendous when you spend time doing recreational activities together. You will increase your friendship and increase your emotional connection. So I hope you enjoy your recreational activity, and I'll see you next time. Make your marriage great.